next question is the fifth one the conversion so here it says c6 h5 o n a plus c2 h5 cl will give what so here this is uh, <clears throat> you have c6 h5 o which can be in general called as an alkoxide with a sodium atom so it's called as a sodium alkoxide in general this is r group o and a now this is reacting with alkyl halide ethyl chloride basically so here what happens is the halogen in ethyl chloride carries a negative charge and the entire ro group here oxygen will carry a negative charge so what we are going to do is interchange the negative um centers so the entire c6h5o which is the which is the negative center in the alkoxide will form bond with the positive center in the alkyl halide so here the positive center is the entire alkyl group of the alkyl halide so when i draw the structure i will get c6h5o which is the negative center from the alkoxide this needs to form bond with the alkyl group of the alkyl halide now the remaining part is positive center of the alkoxide which is sodium will form bond with the negative center of the alkyl halide chloride so here you are forming your uh, product now in this case what is the type of the uh, group that is formed here you have an entire r group here c6h5 is an r group then you have an oxygen in the center and you have c2h5 which is another r group what is this functional group called as this functional group is called as an ether you're trying to prepare an ether so throughout your syllabus there's only one method that you try to prepare an ether and that reaction is called as williamson's ether synthesis so now this is a name reaction williamson's ether synthesis which is going to be an application of or a chemical property of an alkyl halide where you use an alkoxide and you form an ether so this is the williamson's ether synthesis